My name is Joel Davidson with Outer Reef Yachts, and I welcome you to Vero Beach, Florida, where we are aboard the beautiful 2018 Outer Reef 860 Deluxe Bridge Motor Yacht, Rough Seas. Currently for sale, Rough Seas will most likely surpass any new owner's expectations, as she is an exemplarily long-range motor yacht within her class and the Outer Reef fleet. Rough Seas is the fourth Outer Reef motor yacht built for these owners who left no stone unturned when collaborating with Outer Reef Yachts to create a vessel built to perfection and ready to cruise anywhere in the world without limitations. All Outer Reef Classic Series yachts are built to Category A Open Ocean Certification, which means they are certified at the highest level of safety possible. Outer Reef yachts meet the toughest standards and are proven to be self-sufficient for extended voyages suitable for winds in excess of 40 knots and seas of 23 feet. As the Deluxe Bridge Sky Lounge model, her owners and their family and friends are protected from the elements throughout long journeys and casual cruises while enjoying the Upper Helm Station and adjoining entertainment lounge area. Rough Seas layout features four spacious owner and guest staterooms with an additional two crew cabins aft with heads, lounge and galley. The expansive living accommodations echo the feel of yachts 100 feet plus and the ample sky lounge area provides additional private and protected dining, entertainment and office area, all welcome space options that are valuable during extended journeys. As with every Outer Reef yacht within the collection, Rough Seas defines new standards with their cutting edge technology, robust build and contemporary appeal. We will begin our walkthrough of Rough Seas on the extended teak swim platform. Rough Seas is the first outer reef equipped with a custom Opacmar Passarella water sports platform. This top quality remote control platform allows for a multitude of water sport activities. Owners and guests can board the yacht directly from the swim platform via dual teak covered staircases or via dual wing doors on the port and starboard side of the yacht, all leading to a spacious covered teak aft deck. The aft area houses a custom designed teak table surrounded by a U-shaped settee with seating for eight guests. The built-in cabinets forward hold a refrigerator, a storage locker, and can also act as counter space for drinks and food service. To starboard, is a teak covered staircase providing easy access to the boat deck and the command center. Unlike early designs of the 860 series outer reefs, the owners of Rough Seas opted for an upgraded modern salon entrance with large sliding glass doors in a stainless steel frame. This option coupled with large windows adds a tremendous amount of natural light into the space and provides an open ambiance between the salon and the aft deck area. The salon features a beautiful granite top bar with built-in appliances and a glass showcase, plenty of seating for family and friends on custom designed sofas. The forward mounted flat screen television is visible from all viewpoints in the salon. Two steps up from the salon is a convenient on-deck head. The upgraded overhead and sconce lighting and the neutral color scheme of fabrics and soft goods chosen for rough seas creates a welcoming and timeless interior. 
the overall design of the Outer Reef 860 Deluxe Bridge Series allows for a very expansive country kitchen and dining area forward. Rough Seas is outfitted with modern stainless steel appliances and upgraded white silestone countertops. The center island provides an excellent additional storage and casual seating for three. The formal dining area in the country kitchen design has room for plenty of family and guests and offers panoramic views via multiple forward and side facing windows. To truly fulfill the requirements for long range cruising, all outer reef yachts provide exceptional storage capabilities in all areas of the boat. Another prominent and beautifully designed feature while standing in the country kitchen of rough seas is an elegant curved staircase leading up to the sky lounge and command center for the yacht. Rough Seas Climate Controlled Upper Deluxe Bridge, often referred to as a sky lounge, offers protection from the elements and is ideal for blue water cruising and long distance crossings with very complete electronics and satellite systems. The captain maintains excellent visibility from the center helm position while a raised bench to starboard is comfortable seating for two. After the helm is additional entertainment and lounge areas with a sofa and ottoman to port and an entertainment center and galliette to starboard. It's a great area for casual socializing while still enjoying a climate controlled environment. For additional convenience, this upper deck also has a day head and port and starboard doors lead to full walk around decks and the exclusive panoramic bridge view deck seating area forward, which offers unparalleled views while underway. Rough Seas is equipped with the latest state-of-the-art electronics and navigation equipment, with redundant GPSs on very large screens and also 72 nautical mile and 96 nautical mile radars. Other electronics include sonar, several VHFs, autopilot, and in addition, throughout the entire yacht, there are flat screens, audiovisual equipment, Bose sound bars, and the Apple TV system is part of the entire vessel, plus a marine broadband router. A wide curved staircase leads down from the country kitchen to the lower accommodation level. All the way forward is a queen berth VIP stateroom with an ensuite head and shower. There is substantial storage in the drawers under the berth, cabinets to port and starboard, and the hanging locker to port. The ensuite head is upgraded with silestone flooring and countertop and upgraded chrome plumbing fixtures. The port guest stateroom on rough seas also features a queen size berth and an ensuite head and shower with ample storage. The ensuite head also has been upgraded with silestone flooring and countertop and has an exterior hallway door for shared head access. In the hallway opposite the port guest stateroom are a full size stackable washer and dryer and a linen closet and an additional guest stateroom with two single berths which is on the starboard side. The master stateroom is exceptionally spacious, utilizing the yacht's full 21-foot beam. The centerline king-size berth offers a peaceful night's rest via custom Tempur-Pedic mattress. There is plenty of storage space for long journeys and all the comforts of home can be found here, such as a makeup vanity on the starboard side and even a custom shoe rack in the master closet. Oversized portholes, rope and overhead lighting, and a squared off valance give the room a spacious and modern feel. Soji screens provide plenty of privacy at the dock. All staterooms are outfitted with flat screen TVs with satellite television and Samsung Blu-ray players. 
The ensuite full beam master bath is truly a beautiful feature on this yacht. Separate his and hers vanities and the head arrangement provides the owners their own space for toiletries and more convenience and flexibility overall. The two areas are adjoined by a spacious frosted walkthrough shower. This area on rough seas has also been upgraded with beautiful silestone flooring and counters. Both his and her sides hold large hanging wardrobe lockers for full length clothing. The captain and crew area may be one of the most spacious cruise quarters of a yacht in this size range. There is both an interior and an exterior entrance to this area. One is from the aft section of the salon via a curved staircase and the second is via a transom watertight door accessed from the swim platform. Upon entering from the interior staircase, there is a full galley and dinette to port and a second laundry center to starboard. Crew accommodations feature a full queen berth captain stateroom with an ensuite head and shower and a second crew cabin with two twin berths and a head shower. Because no expense was spared on rough seas, the entire crew area, including the staterooms, is beautifully finished to the same exquisite level as the country kitchen and all other guest accommodations. From the crew area, there's access into the heart of rough seas, which is the voluminous air-conditioned engine room with exceptional headroom. With her 1600 horsepower Caterpillar C32 engines, the yacht has substantial range at hull speeds and the ability to cruise in the 17 plus knot range when required. Rough Seas owners chose twin 30 kilowatt Northern Lights generators and upgraded to 55 horsepower hydraulic and proportional bow and stern thrusters. Optional ABT track stabilizers at rest provide ease of docking and maneuverability. The additional soundproofing and insulation create a much quieter environment through the yacht, greatly diminishing engine room sounds. The Sea Torque enclosed drive shaft system provides quiet operation at all speeds. There are very substantial upgrades to electrical systems on rough seas, including equipment that allow the yacht to accept different shore power voltage and cycles worldwide. The house battery bank system has been upgraded to include 12 AD batteries and two inverter chargers. In addition, the marine air conditioning system has three equal chilled water compressors for reliability and redundancy. Rough Seas has a capacity of 3,500 US gallons of fuel and a water capacity of 700 gallons and a holding tank of 300 gallons. By putting the fuel tanks full beam at the forward end of the engine room, that has allowed access to full systems and is vastly improved. All Outer Reef 860 series are outfitted with dual large sea chests which reduce water flow issues to engines, generators, and other equipment. Rough Sea's spacious non-skid boat deck spans the full beam of the yacht with deck boxes on the port side and fiberglass cabinets with a wash basin, a new 30-inch gas built-in barbecue grill, and storage to starboard and that still leaves plenty of space for chairs or loungers. There are also two ocean eight-man life rafts mounted to port and starboard railings. The 2200 pound fully hydraulic davit with a telescoping arm easily lifts and launches the 18-foot Novarania tender. The davit is set up to permit the 18-foot tender to be offloaded aft or starboard. The tender is mounted centerline, fore and aft, for stability and easy access for maintenance. A stainless steel ladder leads from the boat deck to the hardtop, which holds the four 
255 watt solar panels serving as backup chargers for the house batteries. The teak side decks running port and starboard on the main level of rough seats lead into the lower Portuguese bridge and have watertight opening doors into the country kitchen. The hinged door on the Portuguese bridge leads onto the foredeck of the yacht. The foredeck is covered in gray non-skid to reduce glare. The bow holds two separate Maxwell VWC 4000 hydraulic vertical windlasses with 300 feet of half inch chain on one of half inch chain on the other, plus two anchors, a 110 pound plow anchor and a 176 pound ultra anchor. For versatility, shore service is available from this area as well, in addition to the aft Glendenning shore power connections. There is a fresh and saltwater washdown available for the foredeck and the anchor chains. The foredeck and all exterior decks have drain systems that are internal to the waterline to prevent black streaking. Rough Seas 11 foot plus freeboard on the bow in combination with Outer Reef's unique Quiet Ride integrated spray rail system helps eliminate salt water spray allowing for a very dry ride. Rough Seas, the fourth outer reef built for these owners, has been impeccably kept and maintained. Recent servicing includes the thousand hour Caterpillar service, full hydraulic service for the stabilizers and the thrusters, new water maker membrane replacements, plus a new high pressure pump for the water maker, and the engines and generators also received complete new maintenance, including the normal change of oil, filters, impellers, and other required servicing. Rough Seas also received new bottom paint and special coatings on all underwater metal parts. With Outer Reef Yachts, I'm Joel Davidson, and I want to thank you for joining us today for the walkthrough of this exceptional yacht. Should you wish to see her in person or have any questions about today's walkthrough, please contact me and I'd be happy to help you in any way possible.